All right, so for this video, what we're going to do is take a look at how to do a one-way ANOVA between subjects using Excel. Now, Excel is kind of unique in how it wants your data to be structured. A lot of programs are going to look for your data to be structured in a, a long format, where basically you're going to have two variables. One variable is going to be your between subjects factor. So if I just show you some of this format, imagine we had something, you know, a between subjects and Nova is about some group predicting some score, right? And we'll make up some data in a second, but a lot of programs like SPSS and other programs are going to want you to have, you know, your group membership. So say we have 10 people in group one and 10 people in group two and 10 people in group three. You're going to have these groups and then you're going to have a set of scores, whatever they are. I'm going to just use brand between to make up some numbers. So some score between one and 10. And then I can autofill this and I'll just paste it just, 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 just to make up some numbers. Okay, so here we have, you know, some scores that belong to these groups. This is how you have data formatted for a lot of programs to do a between subjects and NOVA. Excel works a little differently. So Excel wants you to format this in kind of a wide structure where every group is going to have their own column or their own row. A lot of times we organize it by columns. So for example, we have group one, group two, and group three. So notice now what we've done is we've taken these memberships and we've given them their own columns, right? And then what we would do is take the scores that belong in any of these locations, right? So the scores for group one, the scores for group two, and the scores for group three are going to go in all these locations. So now we'd have it structured like that. That's what Excel wants. Another limitation of Excel here, at least using the ANOVA command, is that Excel wants you to make sure you have a balanced design. And what that means is we have the same number of observations in each group. This is really important for Excel. You cannot get it to work if this is not the case. There's a very kind of advanced way in Excel that you could make it work if you'd use regression instead, but we're not going to go down that road, which includes dummy coding and other complex um, issues that we're not going to really touch on in this class. So in this class, using Excel, we're going to assume we have a balanced design. Now, if you're using other programs, SPSS, JASP, programs that are for data, they can handle um, designs that aren't balanced in a way that Excel here will not. So just keep that in mind when you're doing these analyses. So once we have our data structured, it's actually pretty easy because there's the option to do ANOVA in the data analysis tool pack. So here we have a single factor ANOVA, and we select our input range, and we tell it we have labels because we selected the words, and our data are grouped here by columns. Notice that's the default, but you could have put this in rows, so we could have had group one went across the row. Uh, once you've done this, tell it where you want to stick your data. I'm going to go ahead and put it here so we can see it easily, and we can perform our analysis. And so here, we're going to get all the results we need. So here's group one, 10 scores. The average is 3.6, group two, and group three. So notice you get the sample size, the averages, the variances for each. Then down below, we'll get our ANOVA table. And so here's our ANOVA table with the between group sum of squares, the within group, which is your error term here, and the total. Okay, so this F table is just like what you'd expect to see anywhere else. You get the mean squares and the F value. So your between groups F is 1.326 with a P value of 0.282. Um, so this does not meet our F critical, right? So this is not less than or equal to 0 0.05. So here we would say, you know, there's no significant difference between these groups. So although these averages aren't identical, the averages are not different enough that we would assume they're due to anything but chance. So that's the way you can perform a simple one-way ANOVA using Excel.